So we live in a rural-ish area, and where we live at the end of a dead-end road also. So we oftentimes find new and interesting cats in the yard. And one of those cats gave birth to a little litter of kittens under my mom's porch about three weeks ago. Uh, probably about five weeks ago by now. Now my mom noticed that one of the little kittens wasn't doing very well. It was smaller than the others. She called it scrawny. Um, a lot of times there will be a runt in the litter, but upon closer inspection, we realized that this kitten had a problem. It had a parasite. Now this parasite that this kitten has goes by many names. Some people call it a warble. And that's a very nice name. If you ask me, the sun's shining. Some people call it a cuderebra or a botfly larva. My dad always called it a wolf. He warned me as a child that when I go squirrel hunting, to only eat the squirrels that I shoot during the winter after the first frost. And this is because that wild squirrels have a worm that live in their throat. Now he never showed me what that was, never gave me an example. And so I kind of pictured there was an earthworm living in their esophagus. Uh, but now I know better, I know exactly what it is. That was in the little kitchen. Oh my god! Can I get all the pus out? Right there.
That's Jeremiah and Daniel walking in the background back there. I am parked in the parking lot at the thrift store. We are about to go into church Wednesday night. I've been editing this video and I realize I need to make a disclaimer. I am not a veterinarian. This is not a how-to video. If you have an animal with a box fly, take it to a vet. Now, I feel comfortable doing this. A veterinarian is just going to pull out the little larva, the worm, and give antibiotics. And that is exactly what I have done. I have medical training. I have worked in hospital labs before. My wife, Daniela, is a nurse. We feel comfortable doing this on our own. If it were anything other than something as simple as this, we would take the animal to the veterinarian. This was filmed about a week ago. The little kitten is perfectly fine now. You couldn't even imagine that it had ever even happened. The wound is completely healed. The fly that lays the eggs that form this larva, that hatch into this larva, are very opportunistic creatures. They will lay the eggs on just about anything. Like I said before, they will lay eggs on squirrels and deers and goats and dogs and birds and every, everything. Um, there have been cases of people in other countries getting bot flies in their own skin. Um, what normally happens though is that the egg laid elsewhere on the body is easily licked off, cleaned off. If the egg were to hatch, then if, as it starts to burrow into the skin, the poor creature would feel it and would, would clean it off. Um, if it were to swallow it through its, through its mouth, into its stomach, the stomach acid would kill it. What happens though is if the fly lays an egg on the neck or the head, the kitten, the, the creature is not able to groom itself in those areas and get the fly egg, the larva off. And that's why it is so common in the head and neck regions.